In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can make $100 per day or more promoting ClickBank products with Facebook ads. In this video, I'm going to give you everything you need. I'm going to give you the ClickBank product to promote. I'm going to give you a converting landing page. I'm going to give you the Facebook images so that you can get up and running fast. For the best tips and tricks to learn affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, if you want my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to waste your time with all the ClickBank stuff. If you're here, you know what ClickBank is and you know what it does and you know how powerful it is. So what we're going to do is we are going to find an offer. I'm going to give you that offer and I'm going to give you the landing page. I'm going to give you everything you need to, to get started. You just need to take action. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to type in small shop. I'm here in the ClickBank marketplace. You type in small shop. And as you can see at the very top here, this one's an ad, but at the very top here is the ultimate small shop. And so once you get here, what I recommend that you do is open up both the affiliate page as well as the landing page or the sales page, because you can use this information to help you craft your Facebook ad. So what we do is we're going to click on this and this is what the sales page looks like. What we can do is we can modify what is on this page to help us write Facebook ad copy that converts. So we can just scroll through here and get some ideas, get some ideas. And the other thing that we want to do is we want to go over to the affiliate page. The cool thing with a very good product over on ClickBank is they're going to give you just about everything that you need. For example, with this product, if we scroll all the way down, it gives us our affiliate links, it gives us our keywords, images, banners, email swipes, everything that you need to get started up and running fast, even Facebook images. It, this really is done for you. So the first thing that I want to do is I'd want to click on keywords because this is going to tell you the potentially who we can target and focus on to start getting leads and sales. Very, very important. Very, very good. Um, another thing that we want to take a look at is the customer demographics. Again, a high converting, very good product over on ClickBank gives you all of this information. So look at this. We know that we should promote this to males uh, or between the ages of 25 and 65, who it looks like are Caucasian for the most part, um, average income. So we can actually target by income as well. $85,000 home ownership. So we could target homeowners countries. This is important interest. This is all very good information that can help us craft a, a winning Facebook ad message. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to do obviously is jump over to Facebook and we want to Facebook ad manager and we want to create a new ad. So what we want is we can either target traffic or conversions for this because we want leads and sales relatively fast. We're going to target traffic. When I click continue, this is basically just going to work in the back office. We can give it a name. Let's call it small shop. If we continue on, none of this is important. We can do camp campaign budget optimization, but it's not required. Eventually, I would say in the next three or four months or so, this is going to be a default option, the campaign budget optimization, uh, but we don't have to do that right now. So what we're going to do, we, we are going to click next. And this is going to move on to the next step of our Facebook ad. We want to give what we want. What I recommend that you do is create multiple ad sets because what you need to do in the very beginning is you need to test and figure out what works. And often in most cases, you're not going to run a Facebook ad that just automatically works out of the gate. What you do need to do is you need to do a little bit of testing to figure out uh, what's high converting, what's converting, what isn't. And then you want to kill the ones that aren't converting and then all of your money is going to go in to what's converting and it's going to increase the amount of money that you can make. So conversion tips, I like to wait between three and five days to see what's bringing me traffic and sales. Uh, and then you can just kind of kill off what doesn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this I like to call this the name of my targeting. So um, as you recall, we jump over here and we can figure out who to target. Uh, the interest are woodworking, DIY, home improvement, and survival. So those are the top level interests. We could also target uh, woodworking tools, popular woodworking. It looks like woodworking is that are all sub interest. So what we can do is let's go over to our Facebook ad and we are going to just type in woodworking. All right, and so we've got the traffic, dynamic creative, we're gonna leave off, offer off. We can set this to anything if, uh, I recommend starting with $20 per day, but if you've got a limited budget, you can start with as little as five or $10. So we've got that change there. Um, and always have a kill date, an end date, just in case you're on vacation or you get busy, you get tied up and you forget that you have it on, you wanna make sure that you're not just spending money, you're not aware of it. You should probably invest or, consider investing uh, about $100 when you're running an ad because that's going to give you a pretty good idea of 
of if you're going to make money with it or not. Um, or you can run this for 10 days. So let's just, I'm just going to put the end of the month as a target. What I recommend, and a lot of people recommend this, is start it on the next day. Don't start it today because if you start it today, right now it's 930. Um, Facebook is going to try it once it's approved, and it usually takes a couple hours to get approved. Once it's approved, Facebook is going to try it and spend all of that money. So what I recommend is set it to the next day and then change it to 12.01 a.m. So that way, Facebook has a full day and it'll spread out your ad spend over that full day. And then likewise, you want to make sure that you are ending it at 11.59, 11.59 p.m. on March 31st. So what we're going to do next is we are going to continue on and we come to our locations and our audience and our demographics. This is important because this is how we're going to determine who sees our ad. And as you recall, the small shop, small shop actually does a lot of this for us. According to this image here, the people that buy their product are the United States, Canada, New Zealand, United Kingdom, and Australia. So the big five, really. So that means that we could target those people. If you're just getting started with Facebook ads, just target one for now. But if you have a little experience, you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and target them all. If you want to target one or if you want to target more than one, just type in, let's say, United Kingdom. And then you want to make sure that you are targeting the country um, because there are cities or um, states, for example, like Georgia. You could be targeting the country Georgia or the state Georgia. You want to make sure. And there are um, different cities in the United States that have the same name as countries. Uh, so you want to make sure that you are targeting countries or, or at least be aware of who you're targeting. So we're going to send it off to United Kingdom as well. And then according to this, it is for men between the ages of 25 and 65. So basically what that means is we need to go down here and we need to change the gender to 25. And we are going to change this to, let's say, 64. Again, we want to change this to men. And then let's look at our demographics, interests, and behaviors. So what you can do here is you, you can do a lot. We could target people that are interested in woodworking. And as you can see, we can target those interests. Now, what I recommend, because we're doing a lot of testing, just target one interest at a time. The only way you don't want to target, the only way that you want to target more than one interest is let's say one interest like woodworking has 16 million people that are interested, but then the other interests that are listed on here, let's say home home improvement only has 3 million people. And so it's going to make it uneven when with, with regard to the ad spin, and that can kind of mess up your your um, your your metrics or your analytics. So in general, what I recommend that you do is just target one interest at a time. But the cool thing with Facebook is that it knows a lot about its its audience. And because of that, you can go to, to the suggestions and see what else potentially you could target. For example, people that have a small sharp, do you think they're into carpentry or they are carpenters? Do you think they're interested in woodcraft? These are all different opportunities that you could get in front of a very targeted group of audience and start making money. So uh, you can use these interests to seed your other ideas. So now that we have that, and you can also narrow audiences as well. Another thing that you can do is let's say we wanted to target, uh, let's target, let's narrow the audience and we can target household income. Uh, let's see, household income. As you can see, if we scroll down here, it says at the very bottom, household income top 10%, household income top 5%. According to this, it says that home ownership, it says average income is $85,000. So where would that rank if you're thinking about that within the United States? Let's see if we could target, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So if we wanted to, we could target, let's say the 25, the top 50, that's probably within our range. But if we click that, that's going to shrink our audience. Before, when we were just targeting woodworking, it was 16 million people. But now we've added in the household income uh, between 25 and 50%. That brings it down to uh, a target audience of 1.9 million people. That's still a lot of people where our ads are going to be served. So if we scroll down, you want to make sure that you are doing manual placements. And then within manual placements, you do not want to be on Instagram. You don't want to be a messenger. You do not want to be in the audience ad network. Where you want to be is you want to be in the Facebook newsfeed. So just go through and make sure that you uncheck all of these. If we scroll down here, uncheck all of these. Whoops. Let's uncheck that. Uncheck that. 
All right, so we've got all of that taken care of. And then the next step is to move to the ad. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to build out the woodworking interest profile. And then I would go through and build out the ad and then come back and duplicate the woodworking so that I'm not doing the same thing over and over again. I can quickly duplicate these ads to make my life much easier and cut down the frustration time because Facebook ad manager can be a little buggy from time to time. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to this next step here. We have the interest taken care of. We have our target audience really taken care of. And so what we need to do is we just need to find some images. So let's scroll down here. And let's see, we're going to do a single image or video. And then if we jump back over to the Facebook, the, the affiliate page here, we can go to, let's see, Facebook images. We can use these. Now, the only issue with that is a lot of people see these and they may be using them too. So you might want to adapt it just a little bit. Think outside the box. But as you can see here, it says uh, Facebook still one of the best performing traffic sources. If you're running Facebook ad, remember, remember to use these a Facebook compliant lander. So that's important. I'm just going to copy this and show you this right here. <clears throat> and what that looks like. If we jump back over, let's see, so we could use any of these images. Basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to right click, go to save image as and then you're going to save the image. Another thing you could do if you don't want to use these images, you could use all of them if you want. But another thing that you could do if you don't want to use these images, go to a website like Pexels or Unsplash and you want to type in like shop or woodworking, we'll say hit enter. And then you can download any of these. <clears throat> now, the only drawback to using these is these do look stock photo -y. Um, They look a little professional. I've actually run one with this. Um, they look too professional. Whereas if you look at these over here, whoops, if you look at these over here, they, they look less professional and less professional do have a little bit higher conversion with regard to Facebook because people are usually turned off by ads. So what we can do here is let's say we grab this one. I'm going to right click save as we'll just save that to the desktop we'll go back over to the Facebook ad manager. I'm going to go down to add media. And then we can go to add image. We go to add image, then we're going to go to upload. We go over to upload. Here is our image here, and I'm just going to click open. So while that's working, uh, click next, and then click next again, or click done. So, uh, uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep working. We're going to ignore that for just a second. Um, what we need is we need primary text. Now we can jump back over and see if they've given us some ideas or we could get some ideas from the sales page. Now we can scroll through and see if we can find things. Um, one thing that bo that's bolded and sticks out on the sales page could be good copy for the Facebook page. It says the most common problems beginner woodworkers face are tool selection and workshop space. We could, we could copy this, but modify it to just give us an idea. So we're going to copy that. We're going to jump back over to our, so what we could do is we could paste this right in here paste it just like that. And then we just want to modify it. Um, so we could say something like it says the most common problems beginner woodworkers face are tool selection and workshop space. Uh, you could say, are you working on limited space or do your tools keep eating up your woodworking space or, or your working space or your, um, we could say something like, um, are your tools taking up too much space. We could do something as simple as that. Uh, we can jump over here and we can grab this headline secret tool source that saves you 70% off prices. Uh, let's go back over to our Facebook ad. We can put in that there. And then what we can do again is we can go back over to the sales page and we can try and find something else. Uh, we could say, uh, eliminate the biggest road blocker roadblocks woodworkers face today. Um, you could, you could also say, um, your biggest roadblock are your tools and we can help. Let's see your roadblock is your tools. We can help. All right. So we've got that. The next thing that we need is we need to add in a website or URL. Now with Facebook ads, they do not allow you to direct link to your 
affiliate offer. So what you need is you need a landing page. And what I'll do is I'll actually provide a link to a landing page. It is a ClickFunnels landing page and you will need a ClickFunnels account. If you don't have ClickFunnels, you can start with a two week free trial. But if you take a look at this, if you take a look at this, this is going to be congruent or it's going to be in line with the messaging that is over on the sales page. And so what we can do is I'm going to jump back over to ClickFunnels. I'm going to click on edit. And while I recommend that you should collect email addresses because ultimately that's going to provide you with the longest um, opportunity to make passive income because you could retarget them for Ted's Woodworking and you know tools that you find over on Amazon. If you don't wanna do that, that's up to you. But in my experience, the most success that I've had is with email marketing. I recently had a guy uh, sign up for one of my programs who had been on my email list for close to three months now. And so to me, it's very important that you should set up email marketing, but some people just don't do it. What you can do, you can do a few things. You should do a few things. One, you could modify this button so that the click pop opens up, the click pop will pop up. Here are the settings for that. This is where they enter in their name and email address. What I recommend that you do is, once they enter in their name and their email address, send them directly to the affiliate offer. And to do that, go up to settings, go down to general, and you're going to copy and paste your affiliate link up here. So you're gonna grab your affiliate link from ClickBank. We're just going to click on promote here. And I'm going to type in Facebook ad so that I know where this traffic source came from, uh, the commission came from. I'm gonna click on generate hop link, copy this, go back over to ClickBank and where it says general settings on page submit go to, and I'm going to put in my affiliate link. So when they enter in their name and their email on this page here, it's gonna take them directly to the affiliate offer. And what you're going to wanna make sure that you do, do the same thing for all of these um, buttons just to make sure you know exactly where they go. As you can see, all of these open up the pop-up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click save here and I'm going to click on preview just to show you what that looks like. So when I click on preview, click on press here to see how. As for name and email address, I'm just gonna type in some information here. We'll see mail. And when I click on submit, this adds people to your email list and it gets them directly over to the sales page. Now, the reason why you can get away with this is that you're running Facebook ads and this isn't branded content. For example, if you are doing YouTube videos with your face or you're creating free content, organic content, and you're using your face for branding, you do need to warm up or create a bridge page so that your customers or potential customers know that you are introducing them to the offer. But because you are uh, running Facebook ads and they don't really know who's behind the Facebook ad, you can actually send them directly to the offer. They watch this video, they click this button, they purchase the product, you get paid a commission. That's how it works step by step. So what we need to do is we need to go back over to, I'm just gonna save this real quick. All right, so now that we have that, I'm just going to go out here and what you can do is you can copy this right here and paste it right into your, your Facebook ad. Now what will work better is if you hop over to settings and you enter in a domain name, uh, change this domain name because right now it's at like um, alstongodbolt.clickfunnels.com. What I recommend that you do is spend $5, $10 and purchase a domain name so that it offers more branded content. Um, Facebook will be 100% okay with that. So we're just gonna click save and update settings. And when we do that, it's going to change our domain name I can go back over to the ultimate small shop. I can copy this. You can also change this. I recommend change it. Let's change that too. So let's change this to, let me change this widget here. Uh, we're gonna change this to ultimate shop. Hit update. And then we're going to change this here. Hit this widget icon and I'm going to paste that in and I'm just gonna type in A. And the reason why you wanna change it, it looks better. Um, when someone clicks on this link, for example, that's not it. When someone clicks on the link, they can see it has your domain name 
and then it says ultimate small shop. If you don't change it while it's okay, it's gonna say ultimate small shop 183179ABQ, which looks just a little weird. So if I open this up, you can see in the top right hand corner, it says alstongodbolt.click forward slash ultimate small shop A. What we need to do, and what I recommend that you do, is copy this URL. If you use this URL, sometimes Facebook is weird about it and they might reject the ad, they might get confused about it. Um, so always open up this, this link here in a new window and use this URL. Go back over to Facebook and then paste that in. When you paste that in, hopefully there are no issues. Good, my URL is no longer blocked. What I recommend at this point is to go back up to your uh, woodworking ad set here and duplicate it. Click on this, you can duplicate it as many times as you want. I recommend duplicating it. Uh, let's say you're testing three or four different interests. We can duplicate it two or three times. Let's see, let's do three. And then we just need to want change one thing. Now, if you do this manually after each step, you have to go through and change everything. So as you can see here, it made exact copies of our, of our um, ad set. So let's see here, what we can do is we can go up to this woodworking one here, and we can change this to, let's say, DIY. We can go down, We see it's already still set at $5 per day, it has a start and an end date. We can just go down to interest, edit that, and then we can change this based on a suggestion. We can go to DIY, and then just remove woodworking, and then easy as that, it made the necessary change. Then we can go over to this woodworking copy again, and then basically do the same thing. Scroll all the way up. Uh, let's find an interest first. What would people be interested in? Let's see if we can find one here. All right, so Facebook interest, scroll down. They're gonna be interested in home improvement and survival. So if we can jump back over to our Facebook ad manager, we can do, uh, let's do, Let's do home improvement. Home improvement, make sure you're selecting interest because if you look at this, it has home improvement employers, home improvement interest, and then home improvements plural. So make sure that you are selecting home improvements, uh, the interest, and then we just wanna delete that. And then you can do that again as many times as you want. And I need to change this to home improvement. Uh, spelled improvement wrong, that's okay. And then once you're done, you can click save. The cool thing what you can do is you can go ahead, as long as you have the domain name set up, you can set all of this up right now and then go and work on this other stuff in the back end. Now it will take a little while. Facebook is going to have a bot search your, your landing page to make sure you're not saying or doing anything um, unethical or weird. And so usually later that day, you'll get a notification, usually an approval. And you can do this over and over again. After about three to five days, you want to see which ones are bringing you, which landing pages or, or which um, which ads are bringing you the most traffic. Um, and what you could even do is you could actually create different landing pages in ClickFunnels for each one of your ad sets so that you know exactly which work you want. You could get as detailed as you wanted to to make sure that you're putting yourself in the best position possible to be successful. Now that you know how to get started step-by-step -step with ClickBank and Facebook ads, I want you to click the first link in the description and watch a free training for my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online. That free training will show you step-by-step -step how to get started with high ticket affiliate marketing. So make sure you click that first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start to watch that free training. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online with affiliate marketing. Also check out my website, alstongodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online with affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.